folks. My next guest is a founding member of New Kids on the Block and a star of Blue Bloods here on CBS. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> That's very dashing, the, the turtleneck and the vest. You know, I dress up for you, Thank Steve. you very I much. I feel like you know, I got to bring my game. My mom's watching. Oh, that's nice. It's like, comb your hair. Does she still watch everything you do? She does. That's nice. Yeah, Sometimes. Now, she's discovered DVR, so... It's sure, 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 sure. A couple sure. days Everybody later. who's got a real life watches the next yeah. day. You know, yeah. only, the, only the youngsters are watching right now. Yeah, I'll call, yeah. Her, at, I'll call her and say, hey, did you watch Blue Bloods uh, in yeah. the morning? And she'll go, I did. I'm like, you didn't, did you? No, I'll watch it later. <laughs> but she eventually watches it. <laughs> she falls asleep at like 6 o'clock, you know? Did you... Uh, <laughs> did, how's Wahlburgers doing? It's doing great. Yeah? Doing great. The restaurants are doing great. I yeah? mean, we are... A small business. Fortunately, we're a small business with uh, a couple of guys behind it, me and Mark, who can sure. afford to yeah. go through the lumps of a small business. But yeah. we're expanding. We're almost at 30 locations. Wow. The TV show's doing wow. great. We have products in supermarkets now. Like Did you have a Wahlburgers today? Did you have Wahlburgers today? I didn't. Good. You know why? Because it's Friday and it's Lent. That's and right. You're not supposed to. That's right. What do you guys do? What do you guys do during Lent? Do you have a fish? Do you have a fish sandwich or something? Yeah, I gave up Lent for Lent. <laughs> yeah, I gave it up. Do no, you guys I have just, onion rings? Do you guys what? have onion rings? Onion strings. Onion strings. Sweet potato tots. Not just regular tots. Sweet potato tots. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and your brother can sell. Your brothers, you, uh, you guys you can know, sell. He's hey, a con man, and I'm... So, know. obviously, uh, <laughs> it's Friday. You were on the Blue Bloods tonight. Yep. You know, uh, what is it like working with Tom Selleck's mustache. Is that thing... <laughs> is it a diva? Does it have its own trailer? What's... We're not technically allowed to look at the mustache. <laughs> it's a thing you've heard, like, pop stars have this. Can't look the mustache in the eye. Don't look the mustache in the eye. Uh -huh. I've heard it's a great guy. Yeah. Has, is anybody else allowed to have a mustache, or is it the contract that you can't no, go I just tried. mustache? You... I tried one off-season. My wife, Jenny, likes when I wear a mustache, so yeah. I wore one the whole summer hiatus. And, uh... My fans, like in my band and my kids, are like, Dad, you're a creep. Get that off your face. But my <laughs> wife loves it. And so she was like, see if they'll let you wear it on Blue Blood. So I called exec uh, Leonard Goldberg, uh, our executive producer. I said, hey, I, I was thinking of wearing a mustache. It was crickets on the other end of the phone. <laughs> it was crickets. And I got a text from Tom's mustache about a half hour later. Sure. Saying, yeah. Back off. Back off. Back off. But Tom, Tom, seriously, Tom... Doesn't always love the mustache jokes. He's the best guy in the world. He's such a... Very nice fellow. We had been, him on here. Yeah, he's been so yeah. good to me. Yeah. Uh, as a younger guy coming on a show with him, you know, it's very intimidating. He's a TV legend. And Magnum P.I. He's, he's beyond. Now he's top Frank Reagan. That's outlasted Magnum P.I. I it's know, crazy. But, but when yes. I was a 13-year-old boy... Me too, yes. Exactly. Sure, I wanted the red Ferrari and yeah. the helicopter rides around Hawaii. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I, I still want the red Ferrari. It's not working out. But Mark has three of them, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Wahlburgers, Wahlburgers <laughs> is going to get you that's there. Right, that's right, that's right. You, you, how, how long have you played in New York Cup now? Nine years. Has it gotten you out of a traffic ticket or anything uh, like that? Well... Have you used it? I... I tried. I tried. <laughs> so I was, uh, it was New Year's Eve, and, and Jenny this year was, uh, my wife Jenny McCarthy was hosting New Year's Eve, and New Kids on the Block performed on New Year's Eve. So mm -hmm. we were leaving at like 4 a.m. to go to a little hotel and, and, and nap for a few hours. And our driver took a, a right turn on red, which you're not supposed to do, and there was a cop standing there. And uh, he goes, the guy's like, oh, man, and the cop's giving him a hard time. He said, hey, the sign's right there. You can't go right there. And so... I said, look, just tell him you got Donnie Wahlberg from Blue Bloods in the back, and, and maybe he'll let you go. And the, the cop comes over and says, uh, he says, uh, hey, I, I got Donnie Wahlberg from Blue Bloods in the back. He says, I don't give a damn who you got in the freaking car. You can't make a right turn on red. Here's the ticket. Hey, Donnie, I love Blue Bloods. Good night. <laughs> That's good. New York's finest. New there York's finest. I paid the ticket, though. I paid you for paid, the ticket. You paid. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, I kind of told him, hurry Would up you and make take a good right. cop? Would you make a good cop, you think, at this point? <sighs> You know, I'm too nice. I'm too lenient. New York City cops are nice. They're very nice. When you meet them, they're regular neighborhood people. Sure. You know what I mean? And they're charged with protecting the single most targeted city in the world at any given moment. But I'd say I wouldn't give that ticket out. 
I wouldn't have you gave wouldn't it up. Have done, you know? If you're drunk driving, I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna put you in jail. But if you just took a right turn or you parked wrong, I'd be like, ah, go ahead, get out of here. I, if you're speeding, it's a slowdown. We, I, I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, you shouldn't be. A cop. Yeah, I wouldn't you be a good be cop. A cop. <laughs> Now, speaking of crime, uh, you've, you've got this new show. It's called Very Scary People. Yes. And it's a series about some of the most notorious criminals, murderers, the worst people in the world. D is it a compliment, or I I does it upset you when y you found out they said, you know what? Donnie Wahlberg. He's should the host guy. This. He's the guy to talk about John Wayne Gacy. I don't know, but I will tell you what was very strange is I saw. <laughs> A, a article about the show in a review, and it had a picture of New Kids on the Block at 18 years old next to Charles Manson. <laughs> it was very unsettling to see. It just it, one of these things. Yeah, is how not did like that happen? Other. Yes, it's very surreal, very surreal. But um, I think you know my career somehow in my acting career, I've I've played a lot of cops. I've worked with a lot of cops, and I I I, I really work hard on Blue Bloods to try to do it the right way and and do it like a real detective would do it. And so I think that brings something to it. It certainly I'm informed probably more than the average person who might be asked to host a show, but does it mean I know everything, you know, about law enforcement? Absolutely not. But uh, I think I'm, I, I am fascinated by these real crime shows, so that's the thing. I love, like, Forensic Files is one of my favorite shows. My wife and I binge watch it all the time. So for me, it's something that I always loved, and, and it, I like to do what I love to do. I like... You still I, have the music. You still have the music, and you're going on tour. Again, yes. the summer, right? New Kids on the Block mixtape tour with Naughty by Nature, Salt and Pepper, Debbie Gibson and Tiffany. It's going to be amazing. It's, it never gets old. You know, it never like, gets old. You still like the being of the crowd and everything like that? I love performing as much as I ever have with my bandmates. Um, we have the greatest fans in the world. And, you know, our tours just get bigger and bigger every year. It's crazy. We reunited in 2008, and every tour, Every single year gets bigger than the last one. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. I feel very lucky and very blessed, and uh, I'm gonna ride that wagon until the wheels fall off. All right. Well, thanks for being here, man. <laughs> Have a great you. summer. Thank you so much. Very scary people premieres this Sunday on HLN and Blue Bloods.